Today we're going to go through some different variations of drills and flexibility and conditioning for our splits, okay? So obviously we need to be able to do our right leg, our left leg and our middle splits, all right? And this is going to be applicable for mostly all of our level classes as well as parkour, rec, trickers as well. You want to be nice and flexible through your legs and your hip flexors. Even for parkour when you're doing stride steps, you do want to have a really great range of motion with your hips and your legs to be able to jump from different boxes or different bars and things like that. Of course, when we're in levels classes, we want to be able to leap nice and high and have a great range of motion through our legs and our hips as well. And trickers when you're doing walkovers, things like that, you want to have that great split line um, and that great straight line through your legs. All right, there's only one more thing we need to do before the class gets started and it needs to make sure we're safe. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we're sanitized and clean. So making sure we're sanitizing our hands. Um, the box or the floor that we're using is also gonna be nice and clean as well. The second thing is making sure we have enough space. Making sure you're not going to kick your toe on your mum's coffee table or break any cups would be amazing. Our third thing is safety. So making sure our body is safe making sure we've got really strong muscles, which will be a part of our warm up, and that we're really, really ready to go. The fourth thing is, is being sensible. Again, not trying anything too hard um, and ensuring you are doing what you're capable of doing. Our last thing is ensuring you're on a soft surface. You can be on carpet at home, outside on the grass. If you have got tiles, maybe putting some blankets down or some pillows around you, just to be sure you do have that soft surface under you. When your five safety S's are complete, we can start. So as this video is predominantly stretching, doing some different passive and dynamic stretches, we want our warm up mainly to be for um, our lower body. Okay, so we're going to do some kicks and things like that to warm up, but we don't need to do a big full body warm up as we're mainly focusing on our legs for our splits. Okay, so for our warm up, we're going to start with kicks. So we're going to do 10 front kicks, side kicks and back kicks as well. Okay, 10 on each leg. You always wanna be alternating always doing both sides of your body. All right, so you can lie down fully on your back. You can also be on your elbows. All right, I'm going to start with my left leg, making sure my bottom leg is straight as well. Okay, so every time I kick, I don't wanna be lifting my leg. I wanna just be going to where I can with both legs nice and straight. Okay, so we don't wanna go as high as we can but bending both legs. All right, nice straight line from your hip all the way down to your toes. So we'll go in one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's it. And we're going to do the other leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's it, we want your legs to be also very controlled, okay? So you don't want to flop it up and flop it and bang it on the floor down. It wants to be nice and controlled the whole time going up as well as the whole time going down. Now we're going to do side, so you can lie all the way down on your shoulder with your hand in front to keep balance. You can be in your elbow as well, okay? So same thing. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's it. And now other leg two. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. That's it. Now lying onto our belly. Okay, so this is um, our lower back. We want to make sure when we do it, we want to lift our thigh. Okay, so your aim is to get your thigh off the floor. All right, you don't just want to lift. All right, you want to lift through your bottom and through your thigh, and that's going to get your back leg higher. All right, you also don't want to go for height and twist your body just so your leg can go as high as you can. You want to make sure your hips are facing the floor the whole time. All right, and this is going to help with the when we go to splits as well, to make sure we're nice and square and our hips are square as well. So making sure your hips are on the floor, 
the whole time. You can keep your hands here, look in a mirror, get someone to video, or just feel um, your body being flat on the floor to make sure we don't twist. Okay, looking in front of us, nice and neutral body, and we're going to do 10 kicks on each leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. And one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, and ten. That's it. All right, so our legs are a little bit warm now as well as our lower back as well. So we're going to start by sitting in our pike. So we want to be stretching all our calves um, and the backs of our thighs as well. So we'll start off with pointed toes and leaning forward. That's it. Now I want you to aim to get your belly on your legs. Okay, so when we usually go into pike, we're usually rounding our back. Most people will just lean forward like this with a round back. We want to try and have a nice straight back, okay? So if you have your arms up and you just lean forward as far as you can, keeping your back straight, your aim is to get your belly on your legs and then going further to fold kind of in half without rounding, keeping a flat back and it'll stretch the backs of your legs much more. Good, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. Very good. Um, to stretch it even more, flexing your feet, okay, putting your feet up against a box or a wall, um, a lounge, anything like that to keep your feet flexed. That'll stretch more as well, even if you don't touch your toes, even if you're just leaning forward with flexed feet, it will stretch more, especially if you're aiming to get your belly on, the, on your legs to keep your back straight and having flex feet. You can also put one foot on top of the other, both with flex feet as well. And then leaning forward for the top foot, your bottom leg will get more of a stretch. Okay, and doing the other one as well. If it just stretches enough with pointed toes and a flat back, definitely stick with that. Um, but they're just some progressions to get more um, stretching through your legs. Into our straddle, going to lean over. So one hand, your opposite hand to weight to the way you're leaning, you should be reaching out and you're going to stretch over. And of course the other side. Then going back to your first side, you're going to put each hand on either side of your leg and again you're aiming for your belly to be on your leg and your nose on your knee. So you don't want to just round, you want to be straight and as flat as you can. our other leg. And of course going down the middle. Keeping your knees and your toes turned up off the floor. Five, four, three, two. There we go, very good. And then give your legs a bit of a shake. Okay, so we're going to move straight on to um, stretches for splits. So we're going to start, I'll start on my right leg in a We'll do a little lunge first. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to push our hips forward and it should be stretching at the front of our thigh. Okay, so you'll be able to see if you're relaxing, your bottom is sticking out a little bit. You wanna tuck your pelvis under, your tailbone under, just to get a nice stretch for your bottom front of your thigh. Good, and we can do the other side too. So again, arch your back as much as you can and then really tuck under as much as you can. You don't want to lean forward yet. You're just doing a little tuck your bottom under, which you do in lots of different parts of gymnastics anyways. Tucking your tailbone under to try and have a straight line. And it should be stretching at the top of your thigh, the front of your thigh. Just like that, good. Going back to our first leg. Okay, so we're going to go into a lunge. Hands on either side. You want your knee to be in line with your heel so you can see your toe. So whenever we're stretching our splits, we never want our knee to be over our toe. Okay, so yes, we may be going further, but we're very, very not stretching at all. Okay, so we wanna make sure our foot is in front of our toe. Hands on either side. And we're going to hold this for five. And then you're going to take your arms out, try and balance, but you also want your chest off your knee so you don't wanna be leaning forward. You want to try and have your shoulders over your hips 
and hold. And then go back to leaning forward again with your hands down. And hands up. There we go. Then we're going to pull back. So straightening our leg, having our toe pointed, knee straight. Okay, making sure your back leg isn't too far out or turned in. Okay, you want to make sure your heel and your toe is straight behind your knee. Also understanding that is being on a line on the floor, okay, to make sure you're nice and straight. And then you're going to be leaning forward. If that isn't stretching as much as well, straight and um, flexing your foot and put it up against a wall, a chair, a box, or just flexing it like this and then leaning forward again will definitely stretch more. Now staying on the same leg, you're going to pop your heel just in front of you, okay, so you don't want to be, you can sit on it first, but you want to be able to be next to you, okay, your back leg should still be tucked under, so it should, should still be on the line, and you don't want your hips turned out and your knee facing next to you, you want your knee facing the floor, okay, having that foot just there, and try and stay there, if it's not stretching as much, you can open your front leg, Okay, but then making sure we don't twist. So don't have your front leg all the way out here. If your hips are facing the side, making sure everything is facing the floor and just pulling your front foot out as much as possible. Okay, so you may not be flat on the floor. Hold five, four, three, two, one. That's it, I'll just show you from the other side as well. So this is the exact same stretch as I did and it should be stretching the side of your leg. Yeah. My knee is tucked under. I'm not opening my leg as much as possible because I'm very facing the wrong side. Okay, so once we've done that, again, you can stretch your leg out to stretch underneath and then we're going to slide into the splits. Okay, so hands on either side. Again, you can use your line that you have on the floor. Hands on either side and you just wanna slide as far out as you can. Keeping your hands on either side of your legs and keeping your hips square. So I don't want you to go as far down as you can, but turn your hips out. So you'll notice my knee is now off the line, okay, and I'm facing you when we want to be facing the front. So again, you can lift yourself up and make sure your hips are straight and then slide down. As you slide down as well, you can also have your hands on either side of your hips, a pointy finger or two fingers, to your hands facing the front. And as soon as you start to turn out, your hips will turn and your hands will turn, okay? So you'll be able to see my hips do not move, so that they're straight, and you hold. That's it, if we can do this, taking our hands off, as well as leaning forward, just maintaining our square hips and our back knee on the floor as well as hands behind our hips, arching back a little bit, even putting our head back. That's it. Another way to think, am I square, okay, is by lifting your back knee. If your back knee is going up straight and your foot is facing the roof, that means you are square. If you're a little bit, a little bit square, but you think you are in the right technique and you bend your knee, it's going to go to the side. All right, so that's how you can also tell that you're not very square and you need to straighten up and then you should be lifting your back knee straight away. Okay, that's it. So that's one leg stretch. Give your legs a stretch and we'll do the other one. Okay, so starting, we've already lifted our hips. Okay, so we've already tucked our hip under. So we're already understanding um, hiding our tailbone. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into our lunge. So again, knee over our heel, hands on either side, making sure our back knee isn't turned out or turned in and our hips are facing, keeping everything nice and square. That's it, and then our hands can go up. And back down, leaning forward again, pushing more into your lunge. So also if you're Bottom is still in line with your bottom knee. You're not really pushing. We want to be pushing so our straight leg, our back leg can become straight. And arms up. And back 
down and pulling back keeping our back knee nice and straight again flexing your foot for more of a stretch keeping our front knee engaged as well so really squeezed not just sitting there all the muscles want to be activated at all times that's it now sitting on your front foot and then turning it out making sure your hips are nice and square and your back knees on the floor See, you can even put your um, hands on the right side of your knee. So we're looking like this. To keep it nice and stretch. You should be stretching all the side of your leg. We can be sitting up here again, opening your leg if you can, making sure your back knee's on the floor. And then pulling back again, just stretching it out. And then we can slide into the splits. Okay, so we can grab, jump on a line if you need to, to make sure you're nice and square. Get in front of the mirror, making sure, putting your hands on either side of your hips as you slide down to make sure you're straight. Okay, making sure everything is nice and square. Lifting your knee to make sure we're not twisting as well. If we can, hands are coming off, as well as leaning forward. As well as hands behind. That's it, and coming up. Okay, so you want to be holding maybe each stretch. If you want to have a really good um, stretch class in your backyard, watching TV or something, you could hold each stretch um, between 30 seconds to a minute, okay? As well as making sure you do your kicks to get your legs nice and warm beforehand. All right, now we're going to go into our side splits or our middle splits, whatever you guys call it, okay? And we're going to do some kicks for that as well. So we're going to start lying on our back, having our toes at the roof, Okay, making sure your knees are straight. If we can't yet straighten our legs with our legs in the air, definitely want to practice that first. Okay, if you have really tight legs, you can sit against the wall with your legs just facing the roof and flexing and pointing your toes. And that's really going to stretch the backs of your legs, all right, or your calves and the backs of your quads. So just flexing and pointing. All right, if we can straighten our legs, then we can flex and point our toes with not too much stretching um, at the backs of our legs. We can start by opening our legs, kind of in a straddle shape, keeping everything tight and locked in, and then coming up with straight legs as well. Okay, so we're going to use that inner thighs as we come up, so we don't wanna go out nice and straight and then bend to come in. We wanna really get our inner thighs nice and strong. All right, so we're going to do 10, just nice and slow and controlled. So one, come up, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For this last one, I want it to take you five seconds to go all the way out as far as you can. All right, so rather it just taking one second to go out, I want you to go one, two, three, four, five, and then I want you to hold that there for five seconds. So we don't want our feet to be behind our hips. If you see, there's a straight line between, from my toes all the way to my belly, all the way to my other toe. All right, you don't want it to be behind, so it's not getting the hip flexors that we want. Holding five, four, three, two, one. And again, slowly control coming up with nice straight legs. Awesome, give your legs a bit of a shake. Then we're going to start off with our frog stretch. Okay, so it's like our side splits but with bent legs. We're going to start, hands in front, and you're going to slide your knees out just as far as you can. And we're going to hold it, okay? So we do want to have a straight line from our knees all the way 
to the other knee. Okay, so you don't want to be too far in front like this. So there's an um, angle. I'm going to have a nice straight line. Again, using something like a line on the floor, looking at yourself in the mirror, getting in your stretch and getting mum to take a photo from the top to make sure you can see your legs and your knees are in line with each other, okay? So it's your knees, your body, then your knees again. It shouldn't have a dip or an angle. Just hold five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to straighten one leg. So exactly, so not just straighten it out to the side, Okay, we want to pretend we're still practicing our side splits. We're just stretching one hip and then the other rather than going both at the same time. So we're going to come up, putting our foot on our line or whatever we have, and then sliding all the way down. We want our knee to be facing in front of us. Okay, so our straddle, our knee faces the roof. In our side or our middle splits, our knee faces the front. Okay, so again, we want our straight line from now, our toe, all the way to our other knee. All right, not leaning forward and our knee doesn't want to be on the floor and our back of our heel wants to be facing behind us, not up at the roof, because that means we're lying on our belly. So staying nice and square. Again, getting mum to take a photo of over on top of your body, just like a coach would see if they were walking around and correcting, they'd be able to see if there was a dip, okay? And then you can bend that leg in and then we're going to do with the other leg. Putting our foot on the line, sliding it out, Having your hands moving down to your elbows, depending how far we can go. And having it nice and straight. Knee facing the front. Keeping your hips nice and square. We'll hold five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And bending it back in. And then leaning forward to put our legs together. That's it. All right, now we're going to stand up, okay? And we're going to slide down into our splits. So just as far as you can, if you can put your hands on the floor, that's great. Making sure your knees are facing the front the whole time and you just go as far as you can um, until you start to shift your hips, okay? So just going as far as you can with the right technique, hips facing the front, knees facing the front and making sure there's a straight line from toe to toe, okay? So we don't wanna to be too far leaning forward where our body's now at a point, okay? So standing up just as far as you can, just going down, making sure we're looking up and sliding all the way down. That's it. Again, making sure you're straight, getting mum to take a photo or just watching, getting on a line, anything like that. That's it. Also to come out, I want you to push and land on your bottom. So if you're standing up um, and you're just going as far as you can, you just slowly and controlled land on your bottom. If you're inside, it's in flat. I want you to push out to your bottom, so you're now in straddle. Also being able to do this, if you are flat, you'll be able to notice the difference between straddle, your knees are facing the roof, rolling into your splits with your knees facing the front. Okay. And then coming out nice and slowly as well. You don't want to um, hurt your hips by doing lots of fast movements after you've just stretched them. You want to make sure you're nice and slow and controlled with your legs and your hips after you've done a nice stretch. Okay, with those stretches as well, you can definitely do more than 10 kicks with any of the different variations we've done today, as well as longer than holding for 5 or 10 seconds. If you could hold between 30 and 60 seconds every stretch every day um, and you're in the right technique, definitely look at getting your splits nice and soon. Um, even before the gym opens again, you can come show us your splits, okay? If you have any questions about um, if you, this is too tricky or if this is too easy, definitely put it in the Facebook group and that can help you and lots of different coaches can help you, okay? Even taking photos to make sure you're square, to make sure you're doing the right thing. We want you to come back to gym nice and flexible but nice and safe as well, not with lots of twisty hips. All right, thanks guys.